Well, Saturday morning, I packed up, ready to leave camp. It's a little later than I wanted to get out of here, but oh well, 7.30. Didn't really feel like getting out of bed this morning. So that's my side over there. That's where I was. But uh, I think we got about, oh, a little jog to get back down to where I turned off last night. And then from there, it's about 178 miles of Dale City. So best case scenario, I think, is we get there by lunch. But we'll see. Itchy feeling to be up and on the way Cause there's always one more river And there's always one more road And there's always one more mountain to climb Don't you know that there's always one more river And there's always one more road Yes, there's always one more river And there's always one more road Gate cattle present. I reckon I can make that work. Still in the Lincoln. Not quite the weed yet. I think weed's gonna be the next town. Stop for half a second and then all this happens. These little guys are out in force this morning.
hanging out at the weed store. I ain't got no gas. I think I'm good to make it to Dale City, so we'll be all right. But I did fuel up on Snicker Bar. But we'll hang out on the porch, finish my Snicker Bar. Then we can get going. Well, just stopped at the weed store. She said the pumps are down, so no fuel. Pumps won't be fixed until Monday. Today's Saturday, so. Oh well, got me a Snicker bar and had, had me a drink and got to get back on again. <laughs> Well, up here on the Guadalupe Rim, been up on this road for a while now. You can see pretty up high from down there in the valley. But that mountain way off in the distance down there is as best I can tell. I've never seen it from this angle, but I'm pretty sure that's Guadalupe Mountain, which is Texas. So we're getting close. Yeah, so that is the tallest peak in the state of Texas, as it stands today anyway. This all used to be Texas. Apparently this side of the Rio Grande used to be Texas. At least it was back in, uh, was it, 1845, whenever we allowed the United States to join our country. And I guess at some point we gifted them all this land. Don't know why. It's all full of hippies now, they ruined it, but we ought to just take it back here all the hippies now. It'd be pretty nice. They didn't ruin it, but they're trying to. They're doing their best. Anyway, that's, that's my rant for today. I decided to make the jog down to Dog Canyon and come in the see the National Park from this angle. Never seen it from this side before. So oh, this is the Texas New Mexico border.
that was the la that was the last bit of unpaven route, I believe. Now it's paved all the way down to Dill City. We just did our last drone flight. And, uh, that's it. Another 20, 30 miles to Dill City, maybe. That's it. And this is the line. There's Guadalupe Mountains over yonder. Dell City. I don't know, that way somewhere. Alright, we just fueled up in Dell City. It's 99 degrees outside. About 3 o'clock in the afternoon. My GPS says I'm 270 miles from the house. So, but I should be able to get there before dark. That's the hope. So I'll run down past Guadalupe, then uh, back through New Mexico, through Carlsbad, and then on up to Lubbock. Just made it home a little while ago, got cleaned up, um, got, the, got the bike parked in the stable right next to the old WR. Start tearing everything down and going over it tomorrow. I'm pretty beat. I did it over, let's see, the last 180 miles on the last section plus 270 miles to get home. So what's that? Uh, that's 450 miles. Yeah. So... Had a pretty stiff headwind the whole time coming home and it really kicked my butt. I was trying to beat the storm. Clouds are still looking pretty nasty, but uh, I can tell already the rear tire, she's pretty much done. That was brand new at the beginning of the trip. Lots of pretty bad cuts in the tire in places too. The oil I noticed on the way in, oil was pretty low, but she got me home in a pretty quick fashion. So, all in all, everything uh, everything went pretty smoothly. 